it's about 30 degrees outside. I have to hang some laundry outside on the back deck. Maybe I'll wait till it's 35 degrees outside. I'm not sure. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to make some two ingredient chocolate croissants. I think it's the least, least I can do for myself and Eddie today. Let's get started. First order of business is going to be to open this up. It's um, honey butter crescent rolls. I got them at uh, Pillsbury. I got them at Grocery Outlet and had them in the freezer. These are notoriously difficult to open and they're equally notoriously difficult to get into these triangles, but I'm going to give it my best shot. <laughs> well, here it is. For once, I got it out relatively unscathed. So I'm going to see if I can uh, unroll this. No promises, okay? Oh my God, it's truly a Christmas miracle. I got it uh, unrolled. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles. I'm going to separate these triangles and start rolling them up with um, the chocolate chips. I have preheated the oven to 375. And I'm going to be baking this, uh, baking these on this parchment sheet on a cookie sheet. I'm using my kitchen shears to just cut down these lines. Uh, I got these actually at Dollar Tree and they're surprisingly good. I'm just going to do that and separate the uh, triangles out. Okay, I'm going to roll these up with some uh, chocolate chips. I got these at um, Walmart, but any place is good. I put a little bit of uh, chocolate chips here at the bottom at the, the long end, because that's going to be the end we roll up first. I'm not quite sure how many I want to put in there. If, if I spread them out too much, they might spill out all over the... Um, the pans, I think we'll maybe go for that. We'll see how these all turn out. All right, so I've spread these out a little bit so they fold well within a line. Uh, just like that, and I'm just going to start rolling them. I'm going to roll the long end and uh, roll the short end and then kind of make a crescent out of it and pinch. I'm pinching there so that the hopefully the... Um, Chocolate chips won't escape, and there's number one. Let's do one more. <clears throat> Grab this one. All right, not quite symmetrical, but that's okay. I'm going to take, again, a roll of uh, chocolate chips. going to line them up there. Yeah. I don't know, 10 or 12. Line them up. And I'm going to go ahead and start on this wide end and just roll them, roll them up, make sure they're, they're well in there, and just keep rolling. Roll that loose flap over, pinch these sides up so the chocolate chips don't escape. I don't want to lose any chocolate. And then kind of, you know, fold them into a crescent shape. Well, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up, and I'll show them to you before I put them in the oven. Here they are, ready to go. They're not perfect, but they'll probably taste delicious. I'm going to put these in the oven, 375. It says uh, 9 to 12 minutes. The chocolate might change that a little bit, but I'll check them regularly, and when they look done, I'll pull them out. Well, here they are. They look beautiful. I would say that the 9 to 12 minutes they recommend was perfect. I'm going to let these cool for a second, and Eddie's going to give one a try. All right, Eddie, what do you think? You gonna... Well, I'm looking at the chocolate. Mm. Good? Real good. Did the chocolate melt okay inside? Perfect. All right. So, Try it. Oh. All right. It's good? I'm very good. You'll see in a minute. All right. Thank That's you. good, America. <laughs> Thank you Merry so much. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eddie. Merry Christmas from Eddie and I. Have a wonderful holiday season. Bye -bye. So, in case there was any doubt in your mind how good these were, here is the uh, plate of croissants about six, seven minutes after we started the first one. Really a keeper. Again, have a wonderful New Year, Merry Christmas, and uh, all the best. Thank you so much for watching.